What's up guys? It's Kay Jones coming at you with another video. Oh my gosh, I got out of class today and my eyes did not deceive me. I was reading on the news how Biden is looking up to looking to forgive student loans up to twenty thousand dollars and um, for the average person it's ten thousand um, dollars if they if an individual makes less than a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars of income or a family makes less than twenty fifth two thousand sorry blah, blah, blah. a family <laughs> makes less than two hundred fifty thousand ten thousand dollars is a ton of money and Obviously, there's a lot of bias here because I'm debt free and I have worked day and night my booty off to pay off any kind of student bills. And when I heard this, I just thought, I'm not ever getting that $10,000 back. <laughs> That's a ton of money for me. I'm an idiot. I should have taken out a loan because apparently debt isn't debt anymore. We just the government can just, you know, pay it off, even though the government's in massive debt. But, you know, we'll just take out more loans to, and get more debt with the government and just pay off other people's debt, right? That just makes no sense to me financially. But for those of you who are benefited by this, that's fantastic. But I kind of want to go into more depth on why this hurts us in the long run. Um, this only benefits universities in the long run because I imagine you that if you have $10,000 worth of debt, that's a fraction of your student loans. Um, cause I know how much your education costs. I think on average your undergrad's about 50,000 and master's about 30, 35,000. So it's like putting a band aid on a situation. And, uh, it's frustrating because it's not targeting the universities that are charging us four times probably what they should. Um, and if in anything, now they're just going to raise the cost of tuition because of this relief plan. Um, on average, $10,000 over probably, you know, an entire undergraduate degree or master's program. And it's just like, hello, I don't care if you are conservative, Democrat, independent, it doesn't matter. I feel like the people running this country are dumasses. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're benefiting the universities. You're putting a band-aids on everyone's debt. And basically you're saying, hey, universities, here's $10,000. Um, they're going to raise their prices because they know everyone's getting this, this um, benefit now. Um, and it just devalues not just education, because, or debt, the concept of debt, um, but it's going to hurt our economy entirely. We've already got a huge inflation issue, and just wiping away people's debts like that is going to, yes, truly upset the people who worked their butt off, have bags under their eyes, night and day to pay off their debt in the long term for success, getting a job, and whatever. Being able to just take care of ourselves. It just astounds me and it's just like a slap in the face and it's just like, oh, you've worked your butt off <laughs> to pay off your student uh, expenses? Yeah, forget you, you're dumb, you should have taken a loan. And I'm just like, do I think the cost of education in America is ridiculous? Absolutely. Do I think that this is a solution to the problem? Absolutely not. This is a band-aid on the problem. You need to target universities. I feel like this is common sense. I just, I am astounded by the people running our country. And for those who are benefited in the short term with this relief, think about the long term. With inflation at the highest it's ever been at 8%, that was all because of the stimulus checks that were provided during the co uh, in COVID-19 uh, Relief Act, you know, during the 2020 and 2021. We had stimulus checks that the government basically just printed money during economic hard times. And there are repercussions of that, you know, such as inflation being at 8%. You know, when I got Diet Coke, a 12 pack of Diet Coke, one of my favorite beverages, you know, we're looking at, it was $4 and maybe 89 cents for a 12 pack. And that's on the high end about five to six months ago, a year ago, even less. And current today it is $8 and something cents. 
Definitely eight dollars, probably fifty nine cents. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at H E B. That is double the price, and for an average American citizen like me, we are kind of struggling <laughs> with these high prices. And everything that we've put in savings, it's just like, oh, you've lost like eight percent on your savings. Congratulations. You should probably invest your money. It's a slap in the face. But anytime the government does any kind of economic relief, there are always consequences. We've had two quarters of negative GDP. We are technically by the book in a recession in this country, all because of economic stimulus with those um, financial checks that were given out, you know, so um, or just printing money basically. So before you guys think that this is a benefit, and maybe it benefits you in the short term. Think of the long run of this country. We are taking step by step step economic decisions that are greatly hurting us. And you know by watching this channel that I truly as am as purple as can be. I would say I'm socially uh, Democrat and economically conservative. And even then I believe there's a balance because I believe corporations when it comes to capitalism can be become monopolistic and I believe there needs to be government regulations. So even that you could say I'm in the middle, but this is just asinine. Think twice before you vote. I don't think anyone we vote for nowadays is good anyway. So good luck on that. And if you agree with me, please like this video. I don't think you'll get any traction on YouTube, but if I can get any traction and get to the right person who's higher above me and has any influence in government or anyone in society just to kind of get a bigger picture on things, I'm praying because I, I'm concerned about this country. So give it a like, comment below, subscribe. Even if you disagree with me, that's fine. Comment below, get that activity going, share your opinions and thoughts because that's the beautiful part of having freedom of speech in this country. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye, guys.